June 2010 and England earned a tight but memorable victory over Australia after losing the first test the previous week. England hadn't won in Australia since the Rugby World Cup success seven years before. Ben Youngs and Courtney Laws played impressive test debuts in front of 48,000 in Sydney. This was the point when it was starting to look really ugly. Croft wins the line out. Youngs, that is excellent from Youngs. Oh, he's still going. Ben Youngs is going to score. And you will not be able to wipe the smile on his face. Tail of the line out. Croft of Leicester to Youngs. How many times have they done that? Dean Mum is in the block position. He can't do anything. But Drew Mitchell is not getting to Youngs because Youngs is so balanced. He's got a very quick pass. He's got real pace as well. England played here three times before, back in 99, to open the stadium. Crutch! Touch! And they lost then. Of course, won the World Cup final in 2003 after extra time, and then lost here in 2006. Heavy defeat, 34-3. Now, what about Ioane? He's going to try and add to England's woes here. Oh, good inside. Ball to Matt Gitto. Just sliced open England, and if Australia continue to play like that, it will be another defeat. Kuwaito and Foden now combining. Thompson. Youngs. Flood. Easter. Trying to stand up, realised he was being driven back, but got rid of it this time. Happy. Thompson. Youngs. Palmer inside to Ashton, Ashton getting away! It's another! And it's another beauty! To win matches like this, England have to play like that. And we're seeing it. The offloading game's superb, and Ashton against France on a debut, he was nervous one-on-one -on -one with Poitrano. He vowed if he got a left-wing position like this, he wouldn't kick it away. Oh, he does it this time. No chip over James O'Connor, just steps off the left foot, slashes through. England's finest finisher does it at international level. We got a game on. Was that a knock on? England thought so. Not given. Cooper onto O'Connor, who's going to make use of that blind side. Mitchell! Knock on or not, it's another Gitto try. And with hands like that, Australian rugby is. And save one, save hands. Pose. Down she goes again, long blast penalty. Enter Johnny Wilkinson <laughs> to get off Nelson. Who's that kind of individual? Here we go, Wilkinson for the posts. Wilkinson through the posts. Getting toward the 30-second mark. If it slows down a bit, that is not a problem for England this time. Been so much quicker from the breakdown today. But this is where they needed to be slow. Like the old days. Well, they've done that, they've earned the right now to just pick and drive and kill the game. They've scored the tries, now they keep the ball. Nobody needs to obstruct. Shaw's been there, done it. He's almost counting it down in his head. Has to start to play it soon. Back it goes. Hooter goes. That's more like it. Seven years. It was quite an itch. Without a win in Australia, without a win in the Southern Hemisphere since 2003. This is really big for Martin Johnson and his team. And they will know it. A historic win for England in Australia Despite Matt Gitto's 20-point tally, a dynamic and powerful display from England gave Martin Johnson his first significant victory as England head coach.